Oh, I have to run a rerun function. That makes so much sense. So I have to do that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so now what I'm going to want to do, um, instead I'm going to take this tuple from here. And then I'll say if two bend zero. Is rerun. I'll just print rerun ing. And then else does all this stuff. Then it's gonna read that stuff from the tuple and the um and yeah. So now when I do the rerun function, great. Now the question is, how do I make this thread rerun? I think one thing is I'll probably have to um stop the terminal thread. So I wonder if I can make this quit or something. What would rerunning entail? I guess what it would, would entail is like raising an exception or something. Let me... Um, there's a s end scene early exception or something like that, isn't there?
Um, yeah. Metal rays. Um, yeah. Alright, so let's see what this does. Okay. So that looks right. I think that's an exception. It's actually a good way to do this, to make this quit as well. So now if it gets to here, I don't even know what setup does. I guess I'll have to rerun setup though. I basically want something like a go-to. But how do I bring it back to here? Um, I can move this into a function and then recurse. But that'd be sort of janky. I could do it in a... Maybe I could put this in a while loop. And then, like, have continue here. So let me try this. While um, rerun equals true. Do all of this. Right? So I have a variable like rerun. That's the true. And here, it goes false. In this case, whoops. Then, run equals true and then continue. So normally, I almost want to do while loop here. Normally, this will be set to true, so this will run. And so it'll um, immediately set to false, and do the setup, do the construct. It'll just finish this. It'll just tear down and finish. But if I raise the rerun, the rerun scene exception, and it'll start doing this. It'll break out of it, set rerun to true, do a continue. Then since that's true, I'll set it to false and start doing this all over again. Okay, that sort of seems like it could work. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's the same terminal thread. Okay, so that worked. If I rerun... I don't see any differences to the... to the screen, so why would that happen? Set up, so I guess... Um... It would still have the same renderer, I guess. Which is fine. And then it'll call construct again. Which will initialize that square, run show creation. I don't really want it to embed a second time. I guess what I want to do is close down the thread running the terminal. So maybe, so let me try doing this. I'm going to try to run the rerun function and then quit really fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then try to like quit before it spawns the second terminal. If I could type the word quit. 
It is a really dumb way to test this. Rerun, and then... But It is a really dumb way to test this. Rerun, and then... But Did it work? It did. What I need to do now is find a way that I can still interact, that I can still, um, that I can overwrite that window or still write to that window after doing a rerun. Which I don't think should be super hard. Um, but first, the rerun command needs to shut down the terminal. That needs to happen no matter what. So I do def embedded rerun. Um, and this should basically do this. So it should push onto that queue. And then exit function. I think there's a decent chance that won't work. Embedded rerun. Oh, and this should be um rerun. I just have whatever args, whatever keywords. Okay. Do you know recursion limit is a thousand? Loop sounds promising. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't have to recurse somehow. Although, no, yeah, that'd just be pretty janky. So let me try rerunning now. Exit is not defined. Dang. Does that mean? Yeah, dang. Well, I guess the command is quit. But I don't know how to function to make to make the IPython shell stop. I wonder if you can give the shell a reference to itself. Um IPython terminal like shut down. Um, I'll say quit function. Is there a quitter object? A class quitter sys.exit. Interesting. Now I'll try doing this. So now if I rerun, use exit quitter control D so it didn't work. Huh. 
Huh. I guess when you instantiate one of these quitter objects, it just quits out. IP dot instantiate one of these quitter objects, it just quits out. IP dot EX. Adding the following line to the main function of this configuration thing. Hmm. Exit equals quitter, and then it executes this function. But that's just doing sys.exit, right? Hmm. <coughs> I think basically all I want is a function that calls some sort of exiting thing. Let me run this again. I need to find any way to exit a command that lets you exit. So isn't it just this? Nope. I wonder if exit is an object that's loaded dynamically, something like that. I guess it is an object of some sort. <coughs> um, we run sys.exit. No. Maybe it works because it overloads the wrapper method. That gets called with the interactive shell printing it. Yeah, that makes sense. What I'd have to know is, what does the wrapper method do? Because if I run sys.exit on my own, that won't do it. I'll try just doing this verbatim. Honestly, there's probably a better way to um, stop this thread. Oh, whoops. I could probably just nuke it from the other, from the main process. Oh, that's supposed to say exit, whatever. It didn't work. Even imported sys. Okay, maybe I'll try importing it. Well, it says system exit, but it doesn't stop it. I guess even quit. Yeah, what I want is for something like what quit does. Threading.thread. I'm doing thread.start. Um, let me see. It should be like dynamically. Can we kill a Py IPython terminal? Kill a running IPython process? Control Z. Um, I 
IPI exit, just import exit from the code, and then call it exit function. Raise IPI exit. Is IPI exit a thing? Raise IPI exit. Is IPI exit a thing? Um, maybe you can raise, probably not. Yeah, then it just goes to the next thing. But if exit is this IPI exit thing. Just import exit from the code beneath into your Jupyter notebook. sys.standardair.close No, that doesn't do it. Uh, maybe I need this thing? Probably not. So I have an IPI exit. And I can raise the IPI exit. Okay, then I'll define this function. And then just pointing a variable at that function. It didn't work. My exit. That surprisingly didn't work either. Since IPI exit is defined up here. There's a generic way to kill a thread. Probably not, though. Stop current and subsequent cells quietly. Stop execution. What is that? Okay, I'm going to try this. Although I don't think that'll work either. And only join an iterable. Well, did something really bizarre. I wonder if with Python you can do two commands with like a semicolon, right? Maybe I can do the rerun function and then just exit. It still didn't. Oh, wait, did it work? No, it didn't work. Dang. Does it still stick? Does it still seriously work to like rerun and then just quit really fast? I think I wasn't fast enough. No, I was. Wait. This is so cryptic. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> it does work to quit really fast. Because now I can do things and it's starting in a new terminal. If I just have quit here, this couldn't possibly work, could it? Hmm. 
Yeah, quit is not defined. But quit is... If, for example... Wait. Can I look at quit dot... Wrapper? Wait. Can I look at quit dot... Wrapper? Don't know what that did. It didn't quit, though. I'm still in the terminal. Maybe this would actually require reading the source code for it. Which I also don't want to do. Hmm. Terminal in function. There's a reference, maybe that'll help. Um, embedding. I can start with start IPython. Is there a stop IPython or something like that? Interactive shell embed. This stuff. You can set an exit message. can recursively reload a module. I don't think I want to do that. Raise system exit. Is this needed to exit Python when it finishes? It seems like that's what I want, but how come it doesn't work by default?
user namespace so that exit exit function quit and quit function are all valid ways to close the shell.